The situation has changed uh, rapidly uh, recently because the president installed a new mili military command. However, just uh, two hours uh, before that, uh, there were uh, irregular movement, military movement in the principal square of Bolivia. Uh, and the, uh, leading this uh, movement was uh, Zuniga, the, the former uh, general commander. And he said uh, that uh, he would um, he would stop the things that are happening uh, wrong in Bolivia and will create their, uh, well, uh, name other ministers and kind of solve all the problems we are facing because it's a fact that in Bolivia we are living a uh, economic crisis and a, a lot of problems like a high prices of food and everything. So it seems like his, his uh, intention was to establish again order. However, it was with a military movement that he was doing that. So uh, with that, uh, with that group of people, he tried to enter to the uh, military, to the to the principal square of Bolivia, and had a meeting with the president of Bolivia, Luis Arce, and publicly they had a conversation that was kind of uh, strong because the president Luis Arce ordered him to move out of the square, and he didn't obey. Uh, and the the president Arce asked him. Are you not going to uh, obey my order? And uh, Zuniga, the former commander, said no. So angrily, the president went uh, away from that point, uh, had a meeting with the rest of the ministers, and then gave a public uh, uh, announcement that uh, democracy will be uh, safe in our country. President Arce is still the president. He changed the uh, military leaders. So it seems like, like the COP attempt was stopped because uh, the, the former commander uh, wasn't allowed to uh, have uh, like uh, the, the country authority. So it was stopped. The COP attempt was stopped by changing the military leaders. The President Arce just did that. So it can be that it can be said that the COP was the COP attempt was stopped.